Hello everyone and now welcome. Welcome to a game between Edo Boy or Edo versus Sonic. I forgot to change the title. Give me one moment here. This is War 3 Nations group stage. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into this. This is Ido versus Sonic. Ido spawning as the blue undead player over here on the bottom left-hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Sonic has spawned as the yellow night elf. Night elf opening up altar of elders right here. It's going to be an ancient of war off over here. Pretty much standard play already coming in as we should be looking at a keeper of the grove with archers going up against, well, really don't know yet with undead undead seems to have um the most and and this is actually a little bit strange the most variety of opening heroes in a very long time um it seemed like it was death knight for ages and ages as the opening hero and anything slightly different well was a, a bit a cautionary tale yeah finally after 18 years um, death knight no longer that primary hero Meanwhile, it feels like the Keeper, the Grove, and Archers has become the primary opening for a Night Elf. Um, once a, I don't know if I want to say once again, but after so long. Demon Hunter, Warden, you know, um, Priestess of the Moon, Keeper of the Grove, uh, they've all had their time in, um, you know, time in the sun and in the limelight or on the main stage. Um, tr um, as the main hero, but it, it's never really like you see all four heroes being popular at the same time. Let's take a look down here. It is going to be a Death Knight coming in from Edo as we are looking at ghouls and, well, ghouls with that Tomb of Relics getting added in. No Crypt Lord, no Dread Lord, no Lich. Well, Lich first was perhaps a very, very distant fourth as um, you only see some really strange play with Lich first. More and more ghoul play at the moment, but yeah, still mostly fiends. Un ghoul play early on, and then a transition into crypt fiends, um, as th those ghouls are still very, very, or still useful at harvesting lumber. We are going to be looking Players back off to the north here, Death attack. Knight, quickly taking down a frog, because, well, undead doesn't like frogs, as we're going to go ahead and go into a little bit of an engagement here. Ogre Magi purposely being backed away. We're going to see a surround on that Tuskar Warrior, even though the Tuskar Trapper is the one that does more damage. Not quite sure why. Um, getting a surround there. Tuskar Trapper going to end up taking a lot of damage here. Death Knight could get in a Death Coil to perhaps try and save some of these units. Ogre Magi getting in damage as well. Finally taken down, and well, this Ogre Magi will end up falling. All right, low hip point will be well back onto Blight, Ancient of War, and easily able to creep out the the gold mine here. Tree of Life already getting into position, and we're going to be seeing Sonic wear it with a very, very fast expansion attempt. Death Knight now sitting at level 2. He also has a potion of greater healing as the game is now underway. Um, unless your name is Krav, yeah. Unless your name is Krav, true, true. Um, Krav d does do some interesting things with um, undead. And sometimes it's the pure shock factor um, um, as well. Hmm. I, I just I just realized, like, um, um, s some things, right? Like, what, like, I've been, I've been, you know, reading up and watching a little bit of chess and... Um, you know, Queen's Gambit and, and reading up on chess styles. And um, it was said like the, the, the Russian, the Russian player, the Russian grandmaster there was like unimaginative, very cold and calculating. Like all, all the things you saw that saw him do were just, you know, you saw it from a mile away, but you still just couldn't stop it. And I'm like, huh, kind of reminds me with happy, right? Like, uh, like, and not most, not necessarily the most imaginative play, but the way he just plays is cold and calculating, and you know he's gonna win. And we'll see if we're gonna see any sort of that play here as well as Ido now trying to pull back with that Death Knight. And um, archers, interestingly enough, well, there goes the Tree of Life. That was a Hunter's Hall first, trying to offer a little bit of protection to that one 
to that a tree of life but no the ghouls were still able to get into that position and still put attack. pressure and take it down keeper of the grove of sonic now trying to set up his expansion for the second time meanwhile the death knight um, is already the death knight's army back at home already teching the tier three um teching the tier three here are we going to see perhaps also that lich come into play as well as we are still looking at a lot of ghoul play so far but ghoul play at this stage in the game there isn't that much damage that the ghouls can really um really hope to do to get higher level creeping except when your name is Cal and you make sacrifice after sacrifice all right coming back around death knight sitting at level two mantle of intelligence dropped it looks like ito just trying to well, trying to make his way through the game right now, trying to good, use good, uh, uh, make good the use of the time he has available to him in his own neck of the woods. The Lich still has not the been started. It looks seat. like, well, we are supply blocked. All right, su supply blocked right now, sitting on a good amount. No, not sitting on any gold, really. So he's trying to figure out what to do with all of his options as the Death Knight gets up to level three. He does also have a pendant of energy. That is going to be extremely helpful as we see a Huntress join in down across here. All right, Huntress turning back around of Sonic keeping track of of what is going on here is the ice troll going to get taken out skeletal minions finishing off that ice troll forest troll high priest could easily get in some damage as we now transition into gargoyles ghouls and gargoyles that faster movement speed moving out across the map archers huntresses are down over here sonic looks like well it looks like that tree of life is about to be up and running that forest troll ice priest about to get taken down. Gargoyle has to be very careful. Oh, nope. A beautiful shadow meld by the archer at the last moment to protect himself from those gargoyles. But the gargoyles, well, since they travel by air, are able to get and chase down that archer. Back off to the north here. Tree of Life is already entangling that gold mine. Altar of Halls of the Dead almost near um, Black Citadel. And we still don't have a second hero as Players of yet. Is this attack. some sort of strange solo hero play to try and get the Death Knight to get higher, uh, higher level first? This would be the first. Uh, this would be the first time I've seen this particular strategy. Normally, the Death Knight is accompanied by the Lich, and it seems that that is going to be the case now. Edo boy, training up that Lich. Thirty-nine supply compared to thirty-eight. However, Sonic does have some extra, well, extra moon wells to heal up a little bit more. And he also has this tree of life providing that extra bit of supply as his expansion is almost up and running. Herself, not himself. A player's forces are under attack. All right. Reacting to Archer. All right. Keeper of the Grove going after the null overseer gonna be able to finish this off a little bit of a steal right there it looks like a death coil being able to pick off that item belt of giant strength however uh, left behind there one hit point oh there was a one hit point difference on that death coil unable to get the steal and um, meanwhile the lich is now out onto the field does have the orb of corruption since no one uses cannibalize for healing it would be interesting to make eating corpses confer temporary bonuses like bonus armor or bonus max hit points like siphon mana Oh, that that would that would be interesting to see and how that would be used but then again i don't want to see an army of ghouls actually having more hit points that would actually be a little bit scary as the units frost nova able to slow down a couple of those units right there archer gonna get taken down we're gonna see some more mana burns most likely coming in from that demon hunter here in just a moment as the keeper of the grove well there goes a frost nova onto the demon hunter demon hunter may end up getting surrounded there goes an entangle onto a key onto a ghoul there uh, the entangle actually opening things up for the demon hunter to try and get away lich does it have enough frost nova a mana to, in order to slow it down one more shot should finish it off and one more attack there it goes had a potion of lesser invulnerability but did not want to burn it for a level one demon hunter keeper of the grove now in a little bit of trouble however the lich does not have enough mana to slow things down death knight well wandering back around and now perhaps going to be putting pressure onto a different location instead of playing chase after this keeper of the grove dark ranger also added in as a third hero as well as the death knight lich dark ranger starting to put pressure on perhaps the main base or the main expansion here ghouls will need to force them to back up here i still don't see any obsidian statues wisp coming over for a detonation lich still low on mana but has plus 13 damage that is actually a little bit of a surprise there claws of attack plus five mantle of intelligence and orb of corruption 
adding up to plus 13 damage, and that auto attack is just that powerful already. Trent's now trying to join in on the fight, however, but, well, it doesn't look like it will be able to stick around as the Tree of Life needs to get repaired here. This is going to be a little bit dangerous as the Wisp are now trying to come over to repair. Will it be able to make it in time? Down to 124, and, and well, climbing and up, back up, holding steady, 17, 13, 5 hit points. There it gets taken down. Demon Hunter gets up to level 2, and now in comes the Retreat. Nicely done by Edo. Edo able to destroy that Tree of Life after so long. And now a couple of those Hippogriffs look like they're going to have the bad day as well. Demon Hunter sitting at level 2 looking to try and shut down the, the enemy heroes as we see an Entangle go down onto the Lich here. Alright, Death Knight in position. Demon Hunter going to go ahead and mana burn get uh, Demon Hunter going to mana burn that Death Knight preventing any any additional death coils as the units are retreating back. Sonic sitting on level 4 Keeper of the Grove, level 2 Demon Hunter going up against a 3-1-1 undead army. Double Crips here training up Gargoyles. Gargoyles hoping to perhaps try and finish off those archers. Archers and Hippogriffs, however, enough of a deterrent here. And if the Demon Hunter gets up to level 3, we're going to see 100, hip 100 mana mana burns across all of those heroes. And the Demon Hunter being able to trade mana efficiently against the opponent. Always very scary as mana is well, the bread and butter of the undead heroes trying to nuke down uh, other units. Looking at the undead base, yes, there is in fact no slaughterhouse, so no obsidian statues. Um, this may, well, this... Without obsidian statues, the undead heroes are really not going to have that much mana. And also, the ghouls are going to be forced to only be healed from that death knight whenever he does have mana. Meanwhile, Gargoyle is making their way off to the north here and able to shut down Players Sonic's expansion before it gets up and running, forcing perhaps another cancellation. Tree of Life down to 700 hit points and dropping rather quickly. Hippogriff's trying to engage, and there you have it. Huntresses are also there as well damage adding up onto that tree of life trying to just buy time to get that fortified armor but it looks like it may not be enough or in time all right hippogriff's gonna try and in well no hippogriff's not able to engage tree of life down to 57 hit points there is that forced um there is that forced cancellation losing that tree of life as that tree of life tries to get back into play here archer frost nova slowing down a couple of those units keeper of the grove gets an entangle onto a ghoul it looks like that ghoul is surely dead as the gargoyles come back around are we gonna perhaps gonna get detonation no detonate oh detonation right there as we see another entangle go down onto another ghoul ghoul is getting taken out huntress is actually leading the way demon hunter wants to close in get perhaps another mana burn onto that lich preventing a, a sure frost nova as the units are now simply retreating back all right constant hit and run styles however those gargoyles um, are going to start to get low on hit points and unless we see stone form those gargoyles um, will, don't have any way to easily get healed all right do they have stone form oh they do have stone form all right so stone form back on blight those stone form gargoyles will be fully healed up in just a moment and I guess that is a way to get around the use of the Slaughterhouse. I've said it in games past, the Slaughterhouse provides too many attack. options. It provides healing, it, provi it provides anti-magic, it provides uh, your meat tanks, it provides siege. If you are looking for uh, the Slaughterhouse or a building that does everything, produces everything, the Slaughterhouse is that building. As we're looking at an army of Hippogriffs, or a, I guess a flock of Hippogriffs off to the side here. Yes, a flock. All right, Gargoyles should be able to get up into the air here in just a moment. you got to be careful. One Frost Nova coming in from that Lich. And all of a sudden, the Gargoyles will be able to chase down many of those Hippogriffs as they are going to get slowed up, slowed up considerably. All right, are we going to go into an engagement? Here we are. Here we go. Units are trying to retreat back. No Frost Nova going down as the Keeper of the Grove and the Demon Hunter show up. Death Knight gets ensnared or in entangled and now trying to retreat back. There is that Frost Nova, but the Hippogriffs of... The Hippogriffs all purposely backing away again. Dark Ranger, perhaps a little bit of a questionable choice as that third hero. But then again, Panda most likely would not have been able to get the man necessary mana burns off either. As the Demon Hunter now gets up to level 3 with level 2 mana burn. Alright, units trying to retreat back once more. No, f oh, Even a good Frost Armor 
coming in from the from the lich if it finds the one gargoyle that is actually getting attacked if you used frost armor all of a sudden those hippogriffs are going to be slowed up considerably as we are going to see nope no engagement no frost nova right there all right transferring of what rod of necromancy death knight where are we perhaps going to try and go next and perhaps trying to get to level two on that dark ranger to enable silence silence stopping the the demon hunter from being able to get off one mana burn and maybe sometimes that's all you really need to delay that first mana burn to get that death coil and that frost nova it it better be silence if i see siphon life i will be what all right magnetar magnetar reaver getting taken down i i don't know why you would go go for the channeled ability of siphon life right now that that is a very questionable uh, hero choice as we see a big frost nova go down there all right a little bit of damage hippogriff trying to finish off a couple of those uh, 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 that, that that was uh, yeah do you need more healing like i i feel like ido ido just trolled me right there right like like he was like like if this was alive, he like it would make me question like is he actually listening to the commentary? And if he's listening to the commentary, isn't that kind of cheating? Like based on that timing, no one goes a siphon life. And 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 silence actually makes sense in that situation where you do not want that demon hunter to be able to mana burn mana burn your your heroes early on and then get that mana burn on cooldown. Maybe life drain has a low mana cost. Well, you have a death knight there for the heal. You have death knight there for the heal um, as well. Anyways, Ziggurat's coming into play here. It looks like the gargoyles are going to try to put in pressure. Ido, um, Ido boy trying to take down this tree of life for the second time. Gargoyles are all flocking into position as well. Hippogriffs are all right there. Are we going to see a frost nova? No, we are not. Um, even getting a little bit of separation right there, getting a frost nova down could do wonders. But the lich wants to get to level three first styling out i like drain life um all right you, you can you can like a drain life we'll see if drain life if drain life is a deciding factor in this game i will i will be absolutely dumbfounded as well perhaps we'll see a transition into a new style of play but um that's a very big if right now siege. it also provides dark minions now but of course not from hippos all right Oh, so if you kill a unit from, from Siphon Life, it provides Dark Minions. Oh, there goes a Huntress. Level 3 now onto the Lich. Level 2 Frost Nova is on the table. And that is going to, well, perhaps prevent uh, prevent these Hippogriffs from doing nearly as much. We do see a Nerubian Tower coming online as well. And the f just a simple uh, look of that upgrade, it could be enough of a deterrent. Here we go. Major battle coming across here. Hippogriffs versus Gargoyles. Mana Burn onto that Lich. It's too bad there wasn't silence as that Lich could have gotten another another frost nova off dark ranger now battling it up not using siphon life as it the auto attack makes more sense demon hunter gets up to level four as the units are now backing away still 50 supply compared to 40 sonic looks like it has a supply advantage as the units are still fighting their way through hippogriffs now with no more gargoyles to attack getting in another mana burn onto that death knight there all right dark ranger continuing to battle up level two black arrow trying to finish off some more of those units as well demon hunter staff of preservation back out of that fight there are double spirit towers and the hippogriffs all they can really do is just look around dark ranger sitting at level three that's a true um, well level one what dark ritual are we gonna see some more frost novas there's a death coil but not enough damage down to 12 hit points as that unit survives and there goes another ghoul all right dark ritual trying to get more mana again Edo boy um, at level three on the dark ranger um well still hasn't used a siphon life has a good has a large amount of mana and i really think and i really really do think um well dark the dark rangers um dark rangers uh silence could have done wonders in that early battle to prevent um one frost nova or, or one silence to allow the lich to get in one frost nova right there all right coming back down here we do we see a slaughterhouse finally getting added spirit tower nerubian tower um well should be able to provide a bit of cover dark ranger can't use life drain to heal death knight like giving mana by blood mage and i don't think so no yeah i i i it's 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 only one way um and and yeah 
So if, if you could actually give life to um, to your... I, I don't know. Would it still be useful then? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. All right. In comes a Trent trying to put pressure onto the Acolytes here. Acolytes trying to move away. Demon Hunter. Oh, Goblin Sappers taking down one of the one of the Nerubian Tower already. And very smart play by Edo Boy, putting in enough separation so that one Goblin Sapper couldn't take down multiple uh, multiple um, uh, Ziggurats. Scroll of Town Portal already being transferred right there. Are we going to see a Potion of Healing? Uh, yeah, being used to prevent that Keeper of the Grove from falling. Dark Ranger doesn't have enough hit points for that to be re really score. useful. Um, all right, Hippogriffs actually Kyle out in open field. Lich does have enough for a Frost Nova. Hippogriffs are going to get taken down. Are we going to see a Frost Nova to try and prevent the retreat? No, we are not. Um, no, there goes that Frost Nova now as the Gargoyles are going after those Hippogriffs. This may be enough to swing things around just a little bit, getting in two additional kills right there. That, uh, that Frost Nova, incredibly important to prevent the retreat. And now Edo Boy has the supply advantage. Heading over here to the bottom right hand side of the map, Sonic had set up a ninja expansion, not in your typical location at all. However, it does not look like it will get up and running completely scouted out by Edo Boy before it was able to even mine 10 gold. Okay. Will Sonic go, go crow form dots? I don't know. That that seems um well, being able to put fairy fire onto those druids of the talon uh, or onto the gargoyles may be a, just enough to try and shut things down. Keeper of the Grove is sitting at level 5, does have a mana stone, so has a good amount of mana as we are now looking at True Shot Aura from the Priestess of the Moon. Um, Orb, of, uh, Orb of Venom also on the Demon Hunter, so those gargoyles could end up getting taken out. There goes a surround, and the Keeper of the Grove could be in trouble, trying to retreat back out. Has a Potion of Lesser and Vulnerability, down to 553 hit points. Will it be able to get away? Death Knight has level 2 Unholy Aura, as the ghouls are trying to get in front of that Keeper of the Grove, as the Keeper of the Grove still running and retreating back. Where is it going to go next? Yes, just buying time, as some trends were trying to finish off some of the Acolytes down here way back down only three acolytes mining and um, down here perhaps more acolytes should be trained or nope just going to be transferring some acolytes from the main gold mine to this expansion location obsidian statue now able to provide a little bit of healing coverage as well um, priestess of the moon is it going to be trying to pick up an orb of venom as well to round out its items and get in some poison damage over time too keeper of the grove uh, Priestess of the Moon, and if the Demon Hunter um, hold, and with that Orb of Venom is able to attack air units, that poison damage can actually rack up pretty quickly if they're just hitting, uh, trying to attack one gargoyle. If the three heroes attack one gargoyle, that would pretty much get that gargoyle down into the red once that damage over time um, finishes. All right, let's. Here, 65 supply compared to 58. Ito, well, sitting slightly behind in terms of supply, and he is going to be trying to fight on Blight though with a spirit with the spirit tower, getting up to 62 supply. Here we go. Units are trying to back up here. Obsidian statue still in that front line spot. There goes Cyclone picking up, and all of a sudden it is Cyclone neutralizing the heroes. And with the Cyclone neutralizing the heroes, the Gargoyles are not nearly as protected. Archers are trying to fight back the other way. Fairy Fire removing much of the armor as the Cyclone shutting down the heroes for a decent time. All right, are we going to see more Mana Burn? Yeah, Mana Burn onto the Death Knight and then the Cyclone them back up while you wait for that Mana Burn to come to an end here. Destroyers are now here able to devour magic and that is incredibly important 52 supply compared to 53 i was not imagining cyclone oh demon hunter nearly getting taken out that belt of giant strength providing a little bit of extra max hit points a big deal there indeed fairy fire demon hunter getting in some damage keeper of the grove being forced to retreat death boil onto the demon hunter demon hunter down to 99 hit points and it looks like he will be able to escape sonic with the druid of the talons getting cyclone on the undead heroes well, first, mana burning a hero, then cycloning them, um, so that it opened up for the mana burn um, once the cyclone finished. That is a brilliant play to try and shut down the undead heroes there. Um, we did see a good amount of mana burns as the demon hunter also nearly died many, many times. Keeper of the Grove, four experience shy 
from level 6. That is a big, big setback as the Tree of Eternity now making its way over here. All right, this is a big deal indeed. It does have fortified, or has the Nature's Blessing sitting at 7 armor. Gargoyles now making their way over. Are we going to see Hippogriff's units trying to make their way and engage here? Tree of Eternity down to 200 hit points. And well, their units were just simply too far away. Tree of Eternity now taken down as we should be looking at level 6 under that Keeper of the Grove. Tranquility now coming into play. And oh, silence would have been really useful right now as the Dark Ranger unable to stop the, uh, the tranquility so far. Demon Hunter trying to chase after. And um, once again, what is going on? As the Demon Hunter, well, may be forced to hang back. 47 supply compared to 53. Tree of Eternity is lost. This gold mine has, well, five minutes of mining left. Still plenty of mining here by Edo Boy since he was not able to fully saturate this gold mine for a very long time. All right. Dark Ranger, interestingly enough, is at level 4, has not used his level 4 skill point. Silence should um, be on the table. I don't know. I, uh, Sonic must assume that, si that his opponent has had Silence and just isn't using it. And he went for level 2, Siphon Life. A player's forces are under attack. viewers if if your if your opponent gets an ultimate ability that needs to be channeled and you have access to a dark ranger and you don't go silence uh, i went silence <laughs> he silenced the commentator uh I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for words. I, I yeah. It, it's, it's, if Ido, if you're if you're watching this, um, could you tell me the reasoning behind Siphon Life or Life Drain? Um, that would be, um, yeah. I I, I want to know the thought process. All right. A shade would have been spotted by the Owl Scout. No reason to keep that unit close by there. Keeper of the Grove sitting. Um, Keeper of the Grove. Well, 725 mana, Demon Hunter, or hit points. We're going to be going into a little bit of an engagement here. Main gold mines. It looks like Sonic wants to mine for another 2-3 minutes and then do a final push. Um, we can see another expansion trying to be built off to the side here. I believe it's just going to end up getting scouted and destroyed. And yeah, that's exactly what we're looking at here. Um, there are two destroyers here. So um, any... Well, there are quick mana burn. And then now that Demon Hunter forcing a retreat there's tranquility and is that demon hunter going to start fighting yes more mana burns could be used right there tranquility keeping that demon hunter alive and well but that was actually a little bit dangerous fighting in that narrow corridor as we're looking at a tree of life going to get cancelled pretty quick again scout keeping track of all this here um 64 supply compared to 55 sonic looks like he is in a great spot and that well tranquility is almost halfway um, I'm on cooldown already as we're going to be looking at another engagement here an entangle just finishing off an acolyte there goes a dark ritual trying to deny a little bit of mana demon hunter absorbing a lot of damage going to be forced to retreat doesn't have any rune bracers or anything that helps protect right there as we're looking at the unit trying to retreat back again all right obsidian statue low on hit points is it going to get down one or two more shots could have finished it off there goes a cyclone onto the demon hunter there's a mana burn onto more obsidian statues as well obsidian statues could have been taken out as the tree well, uh, well, the Priestess of the Moon, Crab's trying to, trying to finish off all of those other units. Demon Hunter, Potion of Lesser Invulnerability, Tranquility coming online again. Demon Hunter able to heal back up. There's a Cyclone once more, and Sonic looks like he's going to come out ahead here as the Demon Hunter back up to 600 hit points once again. Another Cyclone forcing constant engagements, forcing the Undead Army not being able to retreat as the Death Knight, and finally using that Scroll of Town Portal, but a couple of Gargoyles are going to be lost as well. Edel Boy just unable to stop the keeper of the grove with that tranquility if only there was a way to shut down a channeling ability with a dark ranger demon hunter orb of venom still items 
Well, Keeper of the Grove going to be able to retreat back. Moonwell's all pretty much full. You're going to see the Keeper of the Grove. He doesn't even need a drink from the Moonwell right now. He has a Mana Stone with improved Mana Regeneration. And he's going to move on out. If only you could change the skills after you choose them. Yep. <clears throat> even, even that. Coming back around here, Destroyers. Um, well, ready to devour a little bit more. We are looking on, well, only 15 seconds left of mining off to the north. Thank you for the follow. As, well, Gargoyles, Lich, Death Knight, Dark Ranger making its way back off to the north. Keeper of the Grove shifting down. Demon Hunter coming back down as well. Hippogriffs in the air, ready to perhaps try and shut down this mining. This could give Edo some sort of advantage eventually, as we are also going into the disease cloud with abominations to try to counteract all of the healing that it seems Sonic has access to. Druids of the Talon in the back here. Spirit Tower going to take a lot of damage. There's a mana burn onto the Death Knight. Death Knight down to pretty much zero mana. There goes the Cyclone as the, well, Tranquility coming online. Tranquility healing up all of those units once more. Mana burn taking down an Obsidian Statue. And Tranquility really the game changer here as there is simply no counter for it right now. Hippogriffs um, almost taking apart a Destroyer. Death Knight trying to retreat back and able to heal back up once more. All right, still more engagement here. Keeper of the Grove sitting at level six. Priestess of the Moon very close to level three. Couldn't get taken down, down to 95 hit points and taken out very quickly right there. No mana burn to shut that down either. All right, Archer trying to fight back. There's a Cyclone picking up that Lich. And, and, well, taking her out of the fight temporarily as the dark minions are popping up out of the ground. 31 supply compared to 49. Even without the true shot aura, the damage from the Night Elf army is still rather high. Abomination down to 26 hit points. One, one sneak tap would finish it off. Death Knight very low on hit points. Has a potion of lesser invulnerability for some reason not being used as that Abomination is still regenerating hit points somehow. Demon Hunter now gets up to level 6 and Sonic should be able to finish this game now as the Death Knight still somehow alive it is not getting focused down by any stretch finally using a potion of lesser invulnerability uh, we see tranquility could be online once again there goes the dark ranger it is taken out as well as the demon hunter going after the death knight death knight finally going to get taken out as well the tranquility of the keeper of the grove coupled with the metamorphosis of the demon hunter enough to shut things down and that is the end okay thank you Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Sonic, after many failed attempts at trying to set up an expansion, ends up um, being able to steal a victory from Edo Boy, um, who I believe could have just used silence to nullify that tranquility use it was never a situation where the Dark Ranger didn't have mana, wasn't within range of the Keeper of the Grove when the Keeper of the Grove was using Tranquility, especially in that one fight where the Demon Hunter was forced to use a potion of lesser invulnerability. Then the, uh, the Keeper of the Grove used Tranquility, essentially giving six, seven free seconds of healing to that Demon Hunter, getting him back up to five, six hundred hit points. At that point, um, the Potion of Lesser Invulnerability came to an end, and the Undead couldn't finish off that Demon Hunter. Many situations like that throughout the game. Um, uh, uh, yeah, hours of uh, yeah, silence, right? S -s 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 silence. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.